Here's a question I received. Someone wanted to know how they could uh, remove a section of the roof and install a wall on one side of an attic. This isn't the first time I heard or received a question like this, so figured uh, now would be a pretty good time to make a video on it. Now, the size of your attic and the width the materials, all of this is going to play an important role in here. I'm just providing you with a basic idea here of something you can do, something that might work. In most cases, the first thing you will need to do would be remove the other side of the roof. This would require you to shore up the roof on one side and next thing you need to do is make sure that you have some type of a subflooring now if you have an attic with all with a subfloor already there's a good chance that uh, it wasn't designed to be used as a floor just gonna throw that out there you might need to install larger joist and this might require uh, additional structural members also. Um, but if you do have a floor, it might stop about um, eight inches away from the edge because you have a roof rafter coming up. And then if that's the case, you might need to block it and fill it or cut, cut a section back. Uh, some engineers require a minimum of two foot. Um, so if that was the case, you'd need to cut a, cut a section so that you could install a 24-inch wide board all the way across. Next up on the list would be to build a wall. And the size of this wall could be determined by your attic. And it might, uh, might be a small wall. Like I said, all depends upon the roof pitch and the width and length of the attic. So let's just say that you have a 12 and 12 pitch, something that's a 45 degree angle, and you have a 12 foot wide attic. If that's the case, you might only be able to install a six foot wall. If you have a wider attic with a steeper pitch or the same pitch, you might be able to install a wall that's a little taller. Now in this particular example or section of the video, I'm going to run through and show you a possibility, but this is probably something you're not going to be able to do. And the reason why, you, you just, you probably can't just remove a section of the roof and reframe it to where you would have something like this. And then I'm going to try and explain why, and I hope that it will make sense. Now, if you have a roof that goes up and then comes back down. You're basically uh, creating a structural member that will hold up this section. It will, the weight of the roof will transfer down um, and create a nice structural component, especially with the ties down here. Once I do something like this, I'm and, and I start to put some pressure on this side of the roof, I'm actually going to force this side of the roof or put some pressure on this side of the roof and it could, could create uh, a little bit of movement, could cause this wall to move and that wouldn't be a good thing. So something like this, it would be highly improbable that a structural engineer would allow this. However, you could install a post and beam, some type of a setup like this. This would allow any pressure here to basically be transferred down or to be transferred back down here. And it wouldn't, this right here would not allow for this to be shoved over. Now, don't get me wrong. If you have something like this and it's not structurally supported, then uh, obviously we would have a problem. So structural support would come from the walls on each side of the attic as long as the attic wasn't very long. So again, this, this like I said, these are only examples. If you had an attic that was only 16 foot long, something like this would probably work fine. If you had one that was um, 50 foot long, something like this might require more structural support. And any anytime you do something like this, I recommend getting a structural engineer. Any modifications to a house. I mean, I've seen people go in and do something like this 
and then they end up selling the house and it's the next person's um, nightmare. It just doesn't work out. If you do use a system with posts and beams, it is going to require something that transfers all the way down to a footing. You will need to install a new footing most of the time for something like this. So if you had something like this, it would require a footing on each end, but could require additional concrete work in the center. So again, this is a post and beam, and I hope it makes sense. Pressure, if you put pressure on the roof, it will put pressure on other parts of the building if it is not constructed um, correctly. Here's the last example, and uh, this would be instead of using a beam and a post and a beam setup, you would use a wall. And the wall could require additional concrete work throughout the entire um, crawl space. So it could actually require a footing that would go all the way across, and it might require some additional framing or require you to replace the beam that is in the crawl space area also. So again, this is another way the wall would help to uh, prevent the movement as weight is applied to the roof. So this is not a minor remodel project. And uh, keep in mind that most attics aren't that you might have bought a house with an attic in it and it's already un has undersized floor joists in it because it was built a long time ago or um, it was just it was going to be used for storage it wasn't going to be or minimum storage or no storage at all it's just an attic with a big big uh, with a lot of area in it so this information to do something like this is going to require a, an engineer to provide you with lumber sizes, including the floor joist. You might be required to remove the floor joist and um, install larger ones or install larger ones next to them. And remember, as I said, might require additional concrete work. So this is not a minor project and if you just go in and do something like this with without an engineer you could end up with some serious structural problems in the future or do what most people do and that would be pass them on to the next homeowner which is a complete nightmare.